Hello everyone. My name is Arush Katyala. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer, and today I'm going to show you the functionality of deductions. Deductions are a useful feature when you receive payment from your customer that is less than once invoiced based on certain criteria. This is especially popular for organizations that sell to big box retailers. Let's look at the first and only piece of setup. That will be the deduction tag that exists under sales and marketing, under trade allowance, deductions, deduction types. You can set up as many deduction types as you'd like for your organization, and each deduction type is tied to a GL and dimension string. So this is where the difference between the invoice and the payment will be written off to. Now let's go ahead and do a payment. So I've created an example here. So this is a remittance we've received from our customer sunset. And on the date and the check number, you can see that these are our original invoice amounts. Three of the invoices had deductions taken on for shortage. And then finally, we had an off invoice deduction of promotion. So this was some of our product was displayed in a prominent position. And as a result, there was a promotion deduction taken. The total amount of our check is 647.91. So now let's go ahead and do this payment. So I'm going to move this over and let's go under AR customer payment journal. Now, if I go ahead and create a new one, and I will call this deduction demo. Under my lines, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the date and I'm going to choose sunset. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settle transactions and I'm going to pick the five invoices that were in my remittance. And here we are. So when I go ahead and press OK, the system is going to put in an amount of 699.60, but that's not correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our correct payment amount, which is 647.91. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press OK. So now I'm going to click this deductions button. And what you'll see down below is that we have a balance or a difference of 51.69. So let's go ahead and start creating our deductions. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose a shortage retail and I'm going to put in an amount. And that was three. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick my invoice. So this was for my invoice 717. Oh, sorry, I picked the wrong one. There we are. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that for my two other lines. So once again, I'm going to pick shortage retail. The second one was 11.22. And in this case, it was CIV-00719. And as you can see down below, my balance is getting smaller. Once again, I'm going to put my shortage retail. This one was 18. So CIV-00007217. All right, and then finally, I'm going to create my promotion. And that one was 14, and this time I leave that off. I don't put in a specific invoice. If I hit save, you can see my balance has now gone to zero. I have a total deduction of 51.69. And then here we are. You'll see that the system automatically creates a few extra lines in my journal, one for each of my deductions. You can see the ledgers that are being offsetted to. And then once you're ready, you simply go ahead and you press post. And that is the deduction functionality. Thank you so much for watching.